Content Controller has the capability to enable non-standards-based web content to be accessed and tracked via third-party LMSs that conform to standards like SCORM and LTI. This is done via Content Controller's rust see cross-domain feature. To take advantage of Content Controller's cross-domain support, a bit of JavaScript will need to be added to your web content to enable it to communicate with a cross-domain API Content Controller provides. Once implemented, your web content will be able to receive learners from third-party standards-based LMSs, as well as communicate learners' progress back to the LMS. Our team will support your developers during this JavaScript implementation project. So how does this look inside of Content Controller? Your first step after the implementation is done is to tell Content Controller about the content within your website or web application. To do this, a Content Controller admin will need to complete the rust see cross-domain import form for each piece of content. This is what the completed form looks like. Once saved, this content will show up as a new course under the Courses tab. This content can now be added to an account and shared with their LMS. For this demo, I'll be showing an existing web-based course. This course can be accessed directly via its URL, rxd.rustacysoftware.com. This course does not conform to an e-learning standard. It is simply web-based content instrumented with cross-domain. Now that the course is saved, it's time to share the course with an account. I've already added the cross-domain course to Acme Inc's content tab and downloaded a SCORM 1.2 proxy package that can be imported into their LMS. For this demo, we'll be using SCORM Cloud to represent the third-party LMS. We'll first need to import the SCORM 1.2 proxy package I downloaded from Content Controller, which I've already done. The next step is to launch the content. But first, take note, we do not have any data recorded in SCORM Cloud for this content, but this will soon change. As we launch the content from the LMS, I'm taken to the starting page of the rust to cross-domain course. The content now knows who I am. This learner information is shared automatically by the LMS. As I click through the course, data can be shared back to the learning management system, such as a score of 98 and a completion status. Clicking the exit button will automatically return the learner to the LMS. And now we can see data recorded in SCORM Cloud. This data will also be saved in Content Controller and will be available via Content Controller's built-in reports. I hope this video is helpful. If you have questions or would like a personal demo, please reach out to us. We're always happy to help.